All right. I've had a bunch of people ask me my opinion on the um, the Insta Bowl, or the East versus West card, whatever you're calling it. Um, so here it is. I haven't watched anybody's post interview or anybody's thoughts or whatever. So um, I don't really know what other people are saying other than what's on Facebook and uh, comments on YouTube. Other than that, um, and what I'm going to try to do, because this is like my third time making this video, and apparently I don't have enough memory to make it longer, um, is I'm going to talk about what I think most people aren't considering. I'm not really going to talk about the matches, because you, or um, how should I say, I'm not going to really talk about what regular people are talking about. I'm going to talk about the aspects I don't think anybody's considering, or very few people are. Um, I mean, the mat most of the matches went like I thought they would. Um, and that's not to say that I thought everybody from the West was going to get their ass kicked. That's not what I thought. Um, I thought, um, with Hermes and, um, Matt, I thought it would be who was more aggressive in the setup and who won in the setup. And it was, um, the one match that, uh, Matt won, you can see he obviously owned the setup. Um... The only one that went kind of the way I didn't think it would was um, Tony and Todd's match. I thought Tony would be able to keep him a little flatter, um, and he didn't. And I also thought Tony would bang in there a little better in the hook, but it's a different style of hook um, that they pull over there. It's, it's very different. Um, and I thought Todd knew how to slip better than that. I'm not going to lie. Like, holy shit. I was screaming at this screen. Oh, Todd, I love you, but we got to work on that, baby. He was clearly the stronger arm, you know what I mean? Anyway, that being said, um, <clears throat> one of the main things I don't think people consider other, other than travel and stuff, because um, that does play a factor. Everybody's like, oh, no, I don't think it does. Well, how many Europeans come over here and do really well? How many? Because there's a lot of them that come over here. A lot more often you don't hear it because they get their ass kicked um i mean there's a handful that come over here and do well just like there's a handful of americans and north americans who go over there and do well um <clears throat> that leads me to my next point um i believe rob said this before everybody says east versus west but it's really north america versus everybody else that's really what it is you got two countries uh canada and the u.s and you got all of Europe and then some. So it's it's not really East versus West. It's, you know, America versus everybody in Canada. I mean, anyway, that being said, and none of these are excuses for why the guys from the West lost other than Sarah. They're just things people don't consider. Your average arm wrestler probably don't consider them. Spectators sure don't consider them and probably don't care. I'm just throwing my thought out there. That's what you wanted to hear. So, um, <clears throat> Also, you could tell that a large, um, more West, West guy, uh, North American guys felt uncomfortable before they go. You know, because it's a different... It's a different style of refing. It's a different style of arm wrestling. It's a different atmosphere altogether. Um, I've experienced it firsthand. You can't really explain the difference. You can in small areas, but you can't until you experience it. Um, for example, I seen in the Matt Mask uh, match, excuse me, one time, you know, he had to get close to the ref to understand what he meant in the ref grip, what up and down meant. I didn't know when I went to Moldova the first time. I didn't, I didn't know what up and down meant, you know, because we say over, uh, you know, you're going to cover or, um, you know, not. That's pretty much it. You're going to cover the knuckle or not, uh, the thumb rather. They say up or down. And when they say up, this is up. This is down. So I'm thinking up is my fingers over my knuckle, right? Now it's the opposite. And also when they go to, um, get you center of the setup they don't do like Americans do when we ref they don't force you in some kind of way 
you know, this way or that way. Or, and, you know, they tap you. Go that way or we're going to ref grip. Go this way. And as soon as you're center, it's ready, go. It's not ready, go. It's not go. It's ready, go. And, you know, if you're not ready, you've, you've asked out. You know, in my first match, I didn't, you know, I was asked out, buddy. You know, I really felt, I pulled the guy afterwards, beat him, no problem. Now, again, these are not excuses. These are just things that were obvious to me. Um, that happened to Tony, I believe, in one of the matches. I don't think any of these things would have played a difference in the winter. However, they do make a difference. Um, you know, I think next time if we have to travel all the way over there, um, I think a lot of guys will be more, you know, ready for that. How you get ready for that, you know, there's a couple different ways. Do they work? I don't know. Um, you know, so, I mean, like I said, Hermes come over here, did the same thing with Matt. Matt won. You know, I mean, it's, these things do make a difference. Now, I'm not saying Matt would have won had that not happened. And I see people arguing, oh, well, WAL's not real arm wrestling. Well, it is over here, you know. Personally, I hate the fact that y'all call micro elbows and that you call um, intentional slips like what Matt was doing. I'm not sure if they fouled him for that or not. It seemed like it. Um, but that's the stupidest shit. Like, unless you're over here like Todd was and you slipped in, that's kind of understandable. For example, when Zolov <coughs> uh, had Todd over here and Todd was pushing back, and he decides to lift his elbow and get a restart. In WAL, that'd have been him, because Todd would have pinned him off the table and it would have been a match. You know, now you're, uh, what, one and one or one and two, and it changes the whole aspect of the match, you know. Um, anyway, you know, those are just a couple of things that I thought of that I don't think a lot of arm wrestlers or uh, spectators consider. Um, and that's not to say they did a bad job or anything like that. It's just a different, it's a different game, so to speak. It's the same game with different, you know, different aspects to it. And, um, you know, they're a little more, um, a little more experienced in that, uh, that aspect of this kind of arm wrestling. Um, overall, I think they were great matches. I was glad to see Sarah back in action and back banging good. Um, so glad to see Tony, uh, you know, in shape, looked good. Um, Todd looked good. You know, they all, everybody looked good, man. Um, not taking, discrediting or anybody. I was just giving y'all a different perspective on the matches. Hopefully next time they want to call you boy. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work. That's a wrap for the day. Um, as for the channel, I got some new stuff. I got a new table. I got a new area in my gym that's solely for this. So I have been working on stuff. Even though you haven't seen stuff on the channel, I have been working on stuff, and we're getting back on top of it. Um, anyway, click subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all. Roll Tide.